Greetings and welcome to a new series on trigonometry as part of the O-Level revision package being released during the COVID-19 pandemic. This first episode will be covering the basic trigonometric ratios. We will be following the O-Level EMAT syllabus for the first arc of this series. The success criteria for today will be for students to be able to identify the hypotenuse, adjacent and opposite sides of a right-angled triangle, find the basic trigonometric ratios, mainly sine, cosine and tangent, for acute angles, and then to apply these ratios to find unknown lengths and angles of right-angled triangles. But before we begin, let's go back to similar triangles. Let's say we have a right-angled triangle with a height of B and a base of A. The ratio of the height to the base is B over A. Notice that if we half the base and half the height, we still get the same ratio for the height to base. And if we increase the original triangle by 50%, the ratio of the base to the height remains unchanged. We can say that this ratio is invariant. This invariant ratio is the basic premise behind the trigonometric ratios. Now to kickstart Trigo proper, we need to add some terminology so that we're all on the same page. For today, we'll be dealing with only right-angled triangles, but to take the trig ratio, we need to make reference to another angle in this triangle. We'll call this angle the reference angle, which will be BAC for this example. The longest side of the right-angled triangle, which is AB, is known as the hypotenuse, and the other line that forms the reference triangle AC will be known as the adjacent side, and the last side which does not touch the reference angle is known as the opposite side. However, if we were to switch our frame of reference and have the reference angle be ABC, the opposite and the adjacent side would also switch. Now it's your turn. Look at these two triangles and label the sides. Which side is the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite? Pause the video here and check your understanding. Now for the answers. Here is the hypotenuse. Here are the adjacent sides. And here are the opposite sides. Did you get them? Now that we know the name of the sides, let's define the trick ratios. Sine is defined as the ratio of the opposite length over its hypotenuse. Cosine is the ratio of the adjacent side against the length of the hypotenuse. And lastly, tangent is the ratio of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent. Now, the way to remember these three definitions vary from country to country, but in Singapore, we have our own convenient mnemonic to remember this. Arranging the first three letters of the ratios, we get this phrase, tua ka so. This also means big leg auntie in our Hokkien dialect. If you recall the three ratios now, let's check your understanding with checkpoint two. For this triangle, can you find the value of sine BAC, cos BAC, and tangent BCA? Pause the video here to give this question a good try. Now for the answers. The tip here is that when you're dealing with trigo ratios, it's always helpful to begin by labeling the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite sides. Since sine BAC is equals to opposite over hypotenuse, it is equals to 3 over 5. Likewise, since cos BAC is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse, that would give us 4 over 5. But for tangent BCA, we need to be a little careful since we have changed our reference angle. So we will need to relabel the sides to fit the green reference angle. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so it will give us 4 over 3. Did you get them? Now for a fun fact here. Did you know that calculators are able to work out the trig ratios for any angle due to the Taylor series approximations? It's possible to express the sine function as an infinite polynomial where x is measured in radians. Take for example, sine of 24. Just taking the first three sig fig of 24 degrees in radian and plugging it into the power 5 approximation, I can get an estimate for sine that is within 0.027% of the actual value. 
This neat trick allows calculators to work out the unknown lengths and angles for all sorts of right angled triangles. Let's look at a work example. Suppose I have a triangle ABC with angle BAC equals to 32 degrees and AB equals to 9 cm. How can I find the length of BC? First, we need to label these sides. 9 cm is the hypotenuse and the unknown side X is the opposite. Which trigo ratio involves opposite and hypotenuse? That has to be sine. So sine of 32 degrees, the reference angle, equals to x over 9. We can solve this by cross multiplication to get x equals to 4.77 cm rounded to 3 sig fig. Now for the answers. For part 1, we have a known hypotenuse of 8cm and an unknown adjacent labelled y. The only trigo ratio involving adjacent and hypotenuse is the cosine ratio. So cosine of the reference angle 70 degrees is equal to y over 8, and we can solve this to get y equals to 2.74cm. Similarly, for part 2, the opposite is 5 meters and the adjacent is the unknown z. If we were to use the tangent ratio, tangent 38 degrees will be equal to opposite 5 meters divided by the adjacent of z. z will be equal to 5 divided by tangent 38, and that gives us 6.40 meters. Now let's look at a work example for finding unknown angles. Similar to finding unknown lengths, we should also begin by labeling the sides based on the reference angle. Here, we have an opposite side of 4 and a hypotenuse of 7. Sine theta is equal to opposite 4 divided by hypotenuse 7. And to find the value of theta, we have to undo the sine function. This is the inverse sine function, and this will give us 34.8 degrees rounded off to one decimal place. Now it's your turn to check your own understanding. Pause the video here and try to find the unknown angles x and y. Now for the answers. In part 1, we are given the adjacent and hypotenuse sides for the reference angle x. That leads us to consider the cosine function. Cosine x is equal to 6 over 8. To undo the cosine function, we need to apply the inverse cosine function. This will give us a value of 41.4 degrees for x. In part 2, 14 meters is the adjacent side and 16 meters is the opposite side. That leads us to use the tangent ratio. Tangent y is equal to 16 over 14. And we can take the inverse tangent function of 16 over 14 to undo the tangent. That gives us an angle of 48.8 degrees. Now the key to mathematical proficiency is found in practice. Some additional practice can be found in the info section. I've attached a link to a worksheet for extra practice and a solution sheet to self-check your answers once you're done with the worksheet. Finally, let's go back to the success criteria that we set out at the start of the lesson. Are you now able to identify the hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite sides for a triangle? Can you find the value of trigonometric ratios using the mnemonic, Tua Ka So? Can you apply the trig ratios to find unknown lengths and angles of right-angled triangles? We have come to the end of part 1. If you have any clarifications that you need, please leave a note in the comment section below. Stay tuned for part 2 where we will be zooming in into the trigo ratios for obtuse angles. Thank you and have a good day of learning.